Hi, and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes, a YouTube channel about the latest tech trends and products. In this video, we'll talk about the steps of the UX design process. You will find out ways of saving time and financial resources in the early stages and how to optimize the whole process. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. Let's go! UX design can be overwhelming because there are so many steps that have to be taken into account. However, you can make it easier by breaking down the process into smaller, manageable chunks. The first step is user research. Besides traditional interviews, focus groups, and surveys, the Jelvix team uses such models as user personas. Personas represent average users of an application. In the description, a designer should include needs, motivations, skills, demographic data, as well as social and family status. 2. User Journey Maps This is a model of typical users' behaviors with the product or service. Here are the following types of user journey maps. Customer Journey Maps We show user interactions with the app or website. Service Blueprints A simplified representation of functionality and interface. Experience Maps that provide all possible scenarios of users' experience. Spatial maps, 3D models with the description of typical user experiences, and mental model diagrams that describe the user's behavior, motivations, needs, risks. The main stage is design, wireframing, and prototyping. A wireframe is an essential mock-up with the main design elements and functionality of the product. A wireframe provides a presentation of the content, an outline of the page, the style of the interface for further improvements, then the team shares the prototype with the members of other departments. After you've collected advice from them, you can also present the prototype to the focus group. Don't forget to record their feedback. Then it's time for a second wireframe iteration. What is the effective prototyping, you may ask? An effective prototype is able to fulfill the following goals. Testing basic product version. Making sure the entire team agreed on the same functionality and key design elements. Workload planning. The Jelvix UX team facilitates the process by breaking the prototyping stage into several steps, based on the type of prototype deliverable. There are two main kinds of deliverables, low-fidelity and high-fidelity prototypes. Low-fidelity models omit all details and provide the basic representation. These are typically either hand-drawn images or geometric projections. High-fidelity prototypes offer a more precise visual representation of the real screen version of the product. Such prototypes are demonstrated to a focus group or stakeholder before passing a project to a development team. By the way, if you are interested in prototyping tools, check out our comparison of InVision versus Marvel. You can find the link in the description box. The next stage is user testing. User testing provides a transparent view of how other people see your product and get insights on how they think. How does user testing work? Moderate user testing. A moderator is in the same room with the participant and carefully observes the person's interaction with the product. Remote moderated testing. It's slightly less detailed than the previous type because you only get a limited outlook and can't jump in immediately with a question or follow-up. Unmoderated testing. This type relies on recordings and statistics, but no one would ask questions or talk about errors. A-B testing. A team offers two versions of the same product to the same or different focus groups and analyzes their interactions and feedback. Which of the mentioned testing methods is the most efficient one? Share your thoughts under the video. After the product UX is fully ready and accepted by the stakeholders, we can move on to UI design and further on to software development and testing. After the product is ready, it's time for the beta launch. You should release the product to a small group of people who will test the first version, detect bugs, and report issues. After the beta release was completed and you've analyzed the feedback, reiterate your product with regards to receive feedback. Once you've completed all the steps, it's time to release your product to the market. According to Jelvix's experience, if the company puts enough effort into researching the market and audience at the beginning, they will have no problem with making small edits later on when the project grows. Thank you for watching this video. 
It was prepared by the Jelvix team. Apart from UI UX design services, we also provide software development, QA and testing, as well as IT consulting services. Find our contacts in the description box. Don't forget to hit the like button. Also, make sure you are subscribed to our channel if you don't want to miss our upcoming videos on the latest tech trends.